If you follow this channel, you probably know that I have a Mazda RX-8, but I've never really mentioned on the channel the life story of the car. When did I get it? Where did I get it? What have I done to it even before I started the YouTube channel? Well today, I'm going to tell you the full life story of my Mazda RX-8. This story should really start when I first got into cars. I mean, I loved cars growing up when I was really young, maybe three or four years old. I would race remote control cars around with my father. And then leading up into high school when I was getting closer to driving, I got a lot more interested in the cars. I didn't really truly start loving cars until actually my father bought a Porsche 911. It was a 2006 Carrera S, this beautiful blue color. And I remember when he started this thing up, just, wow. It just sounded so good. And I instantly, like when he took me on a drive, instantly fell in love with the car um, and cars in general. I started looking for my first car about my freshman year of high school. So I kind of wanted something sporty. I know I wanted something stick. Um, I bounced around a couple different places, I ended up at the RX-8, looked at it for a bit, and then I saw what people had to say about them, and it was just terrible. It was like, these engines are terrible, they blow up, so I kind of skipped over the RX-8 and bounced around to a couple other things, landed on, of course, WRX STI. Um, I still, to this day, love that car, but I was looking at it, and even in the 2014, 2015, the older STIs, they costed quite a bit of money, so they were out of my budget. So that kind of had me bouncing around again. And then I landed back on the RX-8s and I started to read more into them. Like, hey, really, are they that bad? Um, the, like, they just looked so good. I thought they were just like the coolest looking car. I loved how they had the suicide doors. Um, it was in my price range. It was nice and sporty. It was stick. So I started looking more into them. People are like, you know, if you take care of them or you find one with like a rebuilt engine, you know, they can actually last a bit longer. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to buy this RX-8. So I started looking um, for months and months. I was looking on like CarGuru and uh, loads of other places like Craigslist and eBay. Eventually, um, this was beginning of summer 2015, which is the very end of my freshman year of high school. Um, I found on Craigslist, it was in Maryland, this black RX-8. It had about 75,000 miles on it at the time, and it had a newly rebuilt engine with only about two or 3,000 miles on it. So I was like, this thing is gonna be perfect. A new engine, it's gonna last like plenty of time for me. Like this is exactly what I need. And it was listed for a pretty good price. I don't really remember exactly what it was. So I go over there, I go down with both my parents because I'm still, I'm 15, I can't drive yet. Um, but like I knew I just had to have this car. So we bought the car and then he had a lot of extra parts for it. So it's like he had all these parts installed, but then took them off. So he had the racing beat catback exhaust system, the racing beat, the dual resonator mid pipe, both of which I still have. He had an extra set of wheels, the Cobb access port, and JIC Magic coilovers. So he's like, you know what, I'll uh, throw all these in with the car, which was completely stock at this time, um, for like a super low price. And I was like, I'm doing this. <laughs> so we got everything, um, it was super cool. And that's actually what got me into modding the car. I instantly fell in love with this car. I washed it snapped a couple pictures of it, thought it was the coolest looking thing ever. So the funny thing is I installed like the Racing V exhaust, I did the Cobb access port, I did the tune on it, I did the JSC Magic coilovers, lowered it. I did all of that before I could even legally drive. I mean, I knew how to drive stick, don't ask me how, but I was driving this thing like just around the neighborhood um, and I was just like, I cannot wait until I get my driver's permit when I turn 16 and just start driving this thing because it was just so much fun. 
So I did the rear wing. It was like a carbon fiber M1 speed wing. Um, I had a front lip. It was a Sabin carbon fiber front lip. Um, and then I had those, I ran those for a while on the stock wheels. And then I plasti dipped the wheels for my winter wheels, like a gunmetal gray. And then after doing that for a while, I got the NK wheels, um, which are the ones that are probably most known for on my car. Um, the 18 inch wheels, they're just stock fitment and everything. Um, and then I ran like Pirelli, like P0 Nero tires on those. And then I had a Duraflex Vader side skirt and I did a two-tone paint job on it, like black and silver, messed it out. First spray paint job I really did for the car. Um, it actually turned out pretty good. And this setup with the side skirts, the lip, the wing, and the wheels lowered on the coilovers, this is the setup that I ran for the longest time. I mean, in so many of my videos, you'll see it. And then in the winter, I would switch out the wheels. So, I mean, you guys are probably pretty familiar with this setup. I think it looked great. I still think it looks awesome. Um, and then I kind of messed up my front lip. So I got a new one from eBay, and then that's kind of when everything just started to fall apart. So eventually just took the lip off, ran no lip. So then I got the M1 bumper, the new bumper. It has some bigger cooling things, and I thought it looked a lot better after I had some problems with my old front bumper. It was kind of broken, and I just got rid of it. So I got the new bumper, took off the side skirts, as you guys saw, and then I started creating this track car. Um, so took the wheels off and I got new wheels for that. Um, they're like a lot wider. I'm running a lot wider tires on them. I'm running like 255s and they're Dunlap Derezis. So uh, I have all videos of those, but um, yeah, that's about the final stage of where the car is right now. So yeah, that is the entire life story of my car. I've had it for almost five years now. It has been so much fun, and I hope all of you guys have a similar awesome story with your Mazda RX-8s. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.